Protecting water resources is essential in the arid southwest and is a key consideration for forest legacy program easements in Arizona and New Mexico. With management of the national forests in the southwest, Arizona and New Mexico, we think of ourselves as being the primary water steward. If we do one thing well, we manage the land so we can capture, store, and release water for the needs of people and the environment. So the lands that fit best in that kind of a scheme within the Forest Legacy Program are gonna be lands that are on and around water resources in particular, riparian forests. National forests in New Mexico and Arizona are one of the primary sources of drinking water for Albuquerque, for Phoenix, for Tucson. And the Forest Legacy Program lands, those properties contribute to that water quantity and quality both, as well as to wildlife habitat. In the Southwest, there's uh you know, quite a bit of variety in terms of elevation and landform and uh, vegetative types. We have about 73 million acres in Arizona and it's an arid landscape even at the higher elevations where we've got uh, uh, ponderosa pine forest, mixed conifer forest, pinyon juniper woodlands, a fairly large percentage. All of those lands are important because they're watersheds and they provide habitat for a wide array and a rich diversity of wildlife species. One of the benefits that we receive through the program is an opportunity to keep a larger piece of landscape available to public access. In some of the other projects that we've had funded in the state, such as the San Pedro River, it provides a tremendous opportunity to protect a, a very uh, important uh, riparian landscape. The San Pedro Ecosystem Forest Legacy Project ranked number one in the application process because of its potential to protect critical riparian forest habitat and sustain flow in the San Pedro River. Uh, riparian forests play a critical role in our unique environment in the arid southwest. They provide habitat to many species including the endangered southwest willow flycatcher and the threatened yellow bill cuckoo. They are a migratory habitat for many neotropical migratory bird species, and they provide habitat for many native forest species such as cottonwood, willow, and mesquite. Um, the Nature Conservancy had worked along the San Pedro River and specifically along the lower San Pedro and the Cascabel community for many years. The Nature Conservancy was a key partner by providing a link between the agencies implementing the Forest Legacy Program and the landowners that were interested in protecting their properties. We learned slowly over time the importance of the San Pedro River, the Riparian Corridor, to migration of birds through North America. It's actually of continental scale importance. There are literally millions of birds that use that every year. And so we knew that our little slice of that was really important. Having put the conservation easement on our property through the Forest Legacy Program gives us some assurance that the value of the property, the, cons the conservation value of the property will be maintained for a long time after we're involved with it.